Hi, number one. So, we are in Colorado. The hubby took the kids skiing, and I get to do what I like to do too. So, today's question is, what makes you smile like kitties and glitter? And, if you got a little disposable, I love these things. This one is Cheezle. It's actually a better strain than I originally had thought. So, let's find out what makes you smile like kitties and glitter. Um, what makes you smile like kitties and glitter is coming up with new ideas, new dreams, um, new connections, yeah, it's like you like to... Daydream mostly. I mean, and, and not daydream in like the typical sense, but as far as you like to kind of let your mind wander and come up with some crazy things. And they make you smile like kitties and glitter. That's awesome. Especially when your ideas go against the norm. So it's like you'll kind of just be staring out the window and letting your mind wander. And then you'll come up with something that you think is really funny. But you know that um, most people wouldn't think it was so funny. But I would think it's funny. Because I have these same kind of thoughts. And these same kind of thoughts are ones that can actually create movement and progress but you know it's hard to get a whole world to change <laughs> oh you can't you know just do it with a thought but it starts with a thought and it starts with a funny thought and I've realized that funny thoughts those ones are the ones that really give you the most joy in life Whether you share them or not, it doesn't matter. They just make you smile. Oh, that's nice. It also makes you smile to like come up with the reason or some kind of solution to help somebody come out of a funk. <clears throat> so whether that be like full on depression or just kind of having a hard time at the moment, you really enjoy being able to kind of offer them a new perspective. That's sweet. Okay, that's just, that's kind of confirming. It's like you're able to see through all the bullshit that they have piled up and that they're swimming in and actually get to a new perspective, a new solution, and a new idea to help them, to help them get moving again. Especially when people are stuck. 
You really like being able to help people get in gear again. That's amazing. So keep doing it because it's working. It might not seem like you're having as much effect on people as you would like to think that you are. You are, it's just not in the way that you think you are. So it's like <clears throat> you come up with an idea and you share it with them and they're like, oh my God, yeah, thank you. And it's like, it sounds like they might just go and do that exact thing, but they don't. But what happens is that it triggers something inside of them that starts a slow change. And that slow change is what is more permanent and can really get them going in a different direction. So that's nice. Well, thank you. We'll see you later. Hi, number two. So <clears throat> we're in Colorado today. Husband's taking the kids skiing. And I'm enjoying my time. We also got a little disposable. I love these things. And this one is Cheezle. Yeah, it's good stuff. Okay. Oh. <coughs> yeah. Real good stuff. <coughs> oh. you smile like kitties and glitter. <coughs> oh. So, what makes you smile is dredging up stuff from the past. You really like holding on to things that you know that you're going to be able to use later in an argument. Which is why you're alone. Or, which is why you get left a lot. Why you kind of seem to always be getting left. Because the things that make you smile make you an asshole. you were having problems in relationships all right well see you later hi number three so we're in Colorado hubby took the kids out skiing and I am enjoying my time so we got a little disposable I love these things this one is chisel There we go. So let's find out what makes you smile like kitties and glitter. Oh, you're so sweet and sunshiny. 
Yeah, you are a beacon of love. Oh, that makes me smile like kitties and glitter. Also makes for a hard life, but it does get better. Love always does prevail. <clears throat> so what makes you smile is standing up for your loved ones, finding and um, accepting, um, integrating hard truths, <clears throat> healing, um, very generous, sweet, and you love to listen. And you are just a beacon of sunshine. 53 might be significant, or 8. You get two 53s right in a row. So, that's something. So, let me number three. Smile like sunshine. Uh, well, you are sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> oh, you also like helping, like helping people with advice. Like any kind of, <clears throat> you like listening to people's problems and then giving them some kind of love, advice, some truth, wisdom, whatever, whatever the situation needs, you're able to provide whatever kind of advice they need, which is beautiful. You're so nice. Not a whole lot of people like this. things that kind of make you smile like kitties and glitter is really just delving into your own power and by power I mean like being in your element so in doing what you enjoy doing because it, it not only makes you happy but it's like it also helps others but it it just helps you to continue to become this and stay this beacon of love, which is very inspiring. And <clears throat> you actually make other people smile like kitties and glitter more than you smile like kitties and glitter. So that's nice. So that kind of goes with, you know, the very giving you actually provide more of that kitty glitter awesomeness than you seem to receive, but you also can find some sunshine and rainbows in the world too. And that's what love does. Love, you know, is the rainbow after the storm. I love the storm, so storms love too. <laughs> I guess it just, you know, kind of just depends on what your flavor is. And your flavor is honesty, which is great because that's what we need more kind of love is the like honest. So I love this because I, I, I actually practice this a lot, but it's like when people are listening to you or sorry, other way around when you're listening to people and it's like you're listening to all this stuff come in <clears throat> and it's like you can find that truth that needs to be said in order to bring clarity to the whole situation, which is amazing. Yeah. And then you can send people singing a different tune down the road and that makes you smile like sunshine and rainbows. But a lot of times people aren't too receptive of honesty like that. But regardless, even when you when they're not receptive of it, you still send them down the road singing a different tune. And that honesty that you said is like a little conscious voice. And it's like this echo that just kind of sits there and reverberates in the back of their brain. And it'll grow and then it'll become this like little monster that haunts them. And then until they have to actually 
either spiral faster, which is good, because then as soon as, when you hit rock bottom, that's the only way that you can really find the will to crawl out of that hole. Or it'll actually shift their perspective and then they can start crawling out of the hole. But regardless, you are just a whole package of kitties and glitter and it's amazing. So thank you and we'll see you later. I never bored. So we are in Colorado. The hubby has the kids out skiing and I'm enjoying my time. So we're gonna find, oh yeah, and we got this little disposable guy. So we're gonna start with a hit of chisel. I love these things. All right, so let's find out what makes you smile like kitties and glitter. Overcoming struggle. I love it. I love it. So what makes you smile is like, <clears throat> um, when you're doing something, well, okay, life, <laughs> life, shit happens. So it's like whenever shit happens, you love being able to come up with the idea, the solution, fix the problem, grow, heal, move on. It's like, that's what really brings you that high that you kind of can get from, you know, watching kitties and glitter. You receive from really conquering obstacles, which is beautiful. Especially things that you don't see coming. It's like the bigger problem, <laughs> the better. And it's not like you enjoy the problem. It's just that you really enjoy being like getting over that problem. So it's like, yeah, whenever it's like, it's done, it's solved. It's like, yeah, you smile at like kitties and glitter. Another thing that makes you smile <clears throat> is being able to, like, when something does reveal that it's just, it's not good for you, you love cutting it out. So it's kind of like, you know what, give me a reason. And it's like, it's a subconscious thing. It's not like you were like, you know, consciously like, yeah, give me a reason to cut you out of my life. But it was like this subconscious thing where it's just kind of like, you know, why are we friends, you know? And then it's like they finally do something that kind of breaks the camel's back. And you're just like, oh, okay, that, all right, done. I'm out. And then you have no problem just being like, we're done. I'm out. And then going and finding something better, which is amazing, too. Not a lot of people can do that. I always feel better. I don't enjoy doing it, but I always feel so much better. You know, it's kind of like <clears throat> working out. I don't really enjoy working out, but I always feel better after I do it. I like dancing. Dancing's not working out. Dancing's having a good time. So yeah, you definitely, you really, what makes you smile like kitties and glitter is at the end of the day, knowing and feeling in your heart that you conquered your, your trials and tribulations, you slayed your dragons, 
I hate that term, but it just, it came out. Um, but you, you conquered your problems. You, you won, we made it. <laughs> and it's kind of like, that's what makes you smile is really just having like getting at the end of the day and really getting through it the best that you could. So see you later. Hi, number five. So I got excited. We're going to do a hit of this cheesel from this disposable. I love these things. So we're in Colorado. My husband has the kids out skiing. I'm having fun. It's a great time. So we're going to find out what makes you smile like kitties and glitter. What makes you smile like kitties and glitter is really healing someone. Like really having like a one-on-one, -on -one, very like magical soul healing situations. Those are what make you smile like kitties and glitter. Um, another thing that makes you smile like kitties and glitter is just working your craft. <clears throat> so it's like, if that's whatever, whatever you, your craft is or job, however you want to look at it. But it's like, what makes you smile is actually doing it, working with it, having some real deep soul healing kind of situations and being able to break free from stagnation, depression, finding life again, love of life again, celebration. Yeah, um, you also like being able to heal conflict, inner and outer. So even if the conflict is inside someone, you enjoy healing that as well as, but not as much. You, you'd rather heal someone's inner conflict than outer conflict, but you still will heal, like if two people are fighting, you're an excellent mediator. And <clears throat> that's what really makes you smile, is it's like, yay, you know, I helped some people. But that can also lead to this very empty feeling because it's like you're giving all this love and healing to other people but you're not really saving any for yourself so if you want to keep feeling that happy kitties and glitter like you do helping other people then take time to help yourself too and then you're just going to get more of these situations that you can actually smile like Kitties and glitter. So, we'll see you later.